Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to upgrade Half-Life Opposing Force and or Half-Life Blue Shift to HD so it looks a lot better for your Oculus Quest 1, this is Quest 2 and potentially future Quest headsets. So this assumes that you've already installed and set up Opposing Force or Blue Shift or both and have that working. If you don't, I've got a separate video covering that. I will provide a link in the description to the Oculus Quest playlist, which has that video plus every other video that you're probably in need. And this is for Mac, as you can see. If you want it for Windows or Linux, I've got videos covering that, so feel free to check them out instead. So this obviously assumes that you've set it up, that you've got Half-Life Blue Shift and Opposing Force on your computer as well. I use Steam to get hold of it. I just literally downloaded it. And if we go to the H opposing force and there would have been an install button like there is for half-life source ignore this error because it still allows us to download it as we're not playing it on our computer the error doesn't actually make a difference to us what we would do and i showed you in the previous video on how to just install opposing force and blue shift where to actually locate the files we need to locate those files so for me they are by default in your on your hard drive on uh, macintosh users and i mean now library application support no, no, no. users and there'll be application support so what we need to do we go to go go to folder and you want to type in forward slash users for slash sonar system for slash library click go and this is a hidden folder so you won't appear by default go to application support scroll down to steam again i covered this previously but i'll cover it again steam apps common half-life and there we go so previously we copied over the b shift and the gearbox folder we need to copy over the gearbox hd and the b shift hd folders now before we do that we need a couple need to download a couple of things so first of all we need to get hold of hl gold which is going to upgrade it even further beyond the default hd packs so if you scroll down on this page which i will provide a link in the description scroll down and go to where is it yeah, i'm getting lost now here you go install hd textures pack and just click the here button you'll take you to another ready page scroll down click the download button it will take you to a google drive page and now you can just right click download download anyway i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it downloaded let's click cancel i will close these tabs down next what we need is android file transfer i will provide it in the description but you can just google android file transfer click download and this really just easily allows us to transfer files onto it you can use sidequest probably sidequest and some other methods is the way it overwrites files and it's gonna replace them properly you might do it based on date stamp but if i want to say this is the folder i want to copy these files to you regardless of what's in there just replace them this allows us to do that so this is really really useful and if i go to close this i'll leave this in a bit and if i open this up i'm going an extra one that i downloaded earlier if I just double click this and this will open this up just drag this into applications you won't get this because I've already got it installed we'll open this up momentarily unzip this just by double clicking it and shouldn't take too long so while this unzips we'll open up Android file transfer click open and we'll get this no Android device phone that's fine now we're going to plug in our headset Ooh, my cable dangled a bit i mean dangled a bit got a bit tired and i'll plug this in and if i put it on it'll ask me to allow usb debugging so click allow allow access to data and if it asks you to allow again just do allow usb debugging again and that does sometimes happen as you can see this has now appeared so previously we had b shift and gearbox installed 
and what we first need to do is copy over everything from B Shift HD. So all three of these, if you go to B Shift, what you would do is just drag this onto here like so, and then this will pop up. Click replace all with the one being copied. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. I don't want to waste time, but you click replace all. I'm just going to click skip, but you click replace all. You do the same for Gearbox HD, and you obviously put that in the Gearbox folder. You would just do, 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 copy that like so. Again, you would just replace all. And now for the HL Gold, this is very important. You want to go to the HL Gold HD folder, copy all of this, go to B Shift, and just literally drag everything on. I'm not going to let go. And B, just literally drag everything on to B Shift, and then copy over. This can take a bit of time. For me, it took like an hour. It, it can take a bit of time. So just be patient. There's a lot of small files, and oh, it depends what sort of USB port and USB cable you are using. Go to Gearbox, but instead of copying everything over, you copy everything except for the models. The models have a tendency to break the game, so you just again drag that on to Gearbox, and then when it asks you to replace, just replace all. Be patient. So first, copy of the B Shift HD to B Shift, Gearbox HD to Gearbox, then HL Gold HD contents to B Shift, and then all of it, apart from the model folder, to gearbox so that is it we're almost done the only thing that we need to do now this is optional if you're using lambda one vr launcher which i highly recommend in that playlist in the description there's a video on how to install it and what it is basically it allows you to switch between you know blue shift gearbox you know regular half-life the hl gold version of half-life that is a lot better than editing the command line.txt, which you can't really do on the headset. But I'll show you that method as well in case you don't have Lambda 1 VR. So you can't edit in here, which is a bit whack. So you, I'm just gonna have to download it just by dragging like that, open it up. And you want this command. I will provide a link to, not a link, I will provide this in the description. So you can just copy and paste it. You want B, B shift if you want the Lambda 1 VR to automatically go into blue shift. You want gear box if you want it to automatically to go into opposing force. And you want valve if you want it to automatically go into the default half-life. And HL underscore gold underscore HD capitalized like that if you want it to go into the HL gold HD version of the original half-life. So you would, you know, let's say, save that. And save it. I always like to double check, make sure it is done. And then we would just go into here, you know, replace. Boom, that's it. And it's got the latest timestamp. And that is it. You're all set up. Like I said, I highly recommend that you use something like Lambda 1 VR Launcher. It allows you to easily switch between them. But you can use the command line.txt method if you want to. I'll disconnect my headset. Move this cable over here. And now, let me show you it working. So if I open this up, you'll see my screen momentarily. Okay, so if I go to share, cast, computer, next. So you should, in a, in a moment, see my screen. There we go. So now, I'm gonna grab hold of the controllers. We we'll go to apps, and by default, you might see this. Let's go to unknown sources, and then here you just go to Lambda 1 VR. If I select Lambda 1 VR, it will automatically open up this and do, 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 do. go to configuration, video, video options. Make sure you click allow materials for the HD version. Click done, done. And feel free to experiment with the other settings. Feel free indeed. 
and we can go to let's say new game go to medium yeah I'll start a new game I'm not that fussed about it okay it opened up blue shift instead of gearbox um, let me just quit out of that is it possible that I did not save it properly There we go. So we so again go to configuration, video, video options, low materials. So Half Life Opposing Force. So the reason he didn't do it before, they actually already had Lambda One VR launched and he was just in the background, so he hadn't properly been closed. So there we go, we have the HD texture pack now and it is looking a lot better and i'll just quit out this and like i said i highly recommend that you use something like lambda one vr launcher because instead of having to go to the command line.txt file to ignore that to actually change what game is launching up you simply just go to lambda one vr launcher nice little menu that you can walk around in and look around in that allows you to launch different games you can automatically see i mean you can set the different commands here you can set the you know multi-sampling anti-aliasing level the cpu and gpu level as well if you want different performance and type in here and we can launch each one of them respectively so this is the ultimate way to go i will quit out of this and that is it so we have successfully upgraded our half-life of posing force and half-life blue shift installation on our quest to hd if you have if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to see you in the next video